Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be making keto meatballs. Now, these are perfect for a low-carb uh, diet, and that's what we're going to be making today. Uh, it is going to be a little bit different, but you're still going to help me out, just as usual. Um, I'm going to make them different ways, but we're going to start in just a few minutes. We'll give a minute for some people to come on. Hi, you're the biggest fan. Well, thank you. We love our dog nugget that's a really cool name <laughs> brenda hi how are you jimmy hi so yep <clears throat> yep so we're gonna be making these keto meatballs and um we'll start in just a moment or two but we are gonna start with some ground beef and i'll get to that in a minute the shulgans hey what is up the hooligans <laughs> so yep so we're going to get started in just a moment. I was looking for something to make tonight, and I couldn't think of anything, so I decided on meatballs. I do have to get a knife, so. Oh, you're from Minnesota. Kim is from Keto Meatballs Sound Fun. Cool. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, typically, they're something, uh, someone who's on a low-carb diet, uh, they're eating keto and I just figured I'll make this because that's what I'm starting now. So hopefully they'll work out good. Um, but we'll see in a moment. We're going to make them a different way. Uh, so one of the things, you can have meat, you can have cheese. Uh, the difference is you can't have breads. And so we're going to be making these without bread. And they're meatballs without bread, basically. Uh, I think I might try this tonight. Cool. I'm doing good. What's up? <clears throat> Uh, you now crew what? <laughs> so I don't know this. Uh, we have the same name. Cool. Uh, love meatballs. Kim says, uh, Mike, Hey, how are you over on Facebook? So of course, as always, I am live streaming this both on YouTube and Facebook. <clears throat> Hello from Louisiana. Awesome. German sausage. Uh, someone says, uh, yeah, we're going to be using, ground beef for this. So what I've done was I've already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. We're going to get into this because we want to make them and we want to actually, you know, get them made on this live stream. Jacob, how are you? Please make another root beer cake. Oh, that would be cool. Um, let me angle this down. Hi from Albany, Georgia. Hello. So I just want you to see what I do. I have some stuff meatballs are good with sandwiches and some melted cheese. Oh, good thing you said that because we are going to be making them with cheese now. I just have one pound of ground beef, this 80 20 ground beef in a large bowl. I'm going to move this aside for right now because I'm deciding whether to put either mozzarella inside of the meatballs or cheddar inside of the meatballs. I don't know. So you can help me decide mozzarella or cheddar, or maybe both. You make the decision. So we got to cut those up really small. Someone says mozzarella. Someone says both. <clears throat> Hello from Arkansas. Hello from Salem, West Virginia. Mozzarella says a couple people. Uh, Youngstown, Ohio, Arkansas. Mozzarella. A lot of people are liking mozzarella. Mozzarella and cheddar. And you know what else I can do? I, I can also do bacon, too, because I have some pre-cooked bacon. You benched 50 pounds a couple days ago in football training. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Jacob. Uh, yes, both. That's what some people are saying. Cheddar, yum, yum. Yes, add bacon, Amy says. Yeah, I can do that because I have some – I pre-cooked some bacon – just in case, so I can make them really small and put them on there too. Yeah, why not? We'll put that aside for right now. But first we have to cut up some cheese. I might do some of them with just mozzarella, some with just cheddar, and some with mozzarella and cheddar. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So let's start by cutting up the mozzarella. Let me um, open this package here. I like to get the blocks of cheese and then I can cut it up to any size I want. Use Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack is really good cheese. Um, I'm not using it in this instance, but 
yes, it's very good. Now I'm going to cut this up fairly small. This is my cheddar, or I'm sorry, my mozzarella. Quite a very big difference. So I'm going to cut just like two little slivers off here because I'm going to cut it up even some more. I'll just put that aside. I'll put it all away later. Now we got to cut them up pretty small, right? So I'm going to cut in half long ways. And then we're going to cut them up even more because our meat bars are only going to be so big. So we can cut these up. Now I'm just cutting these until about not even like not even a half inch squares. There we go. That's good for the mozzarella. And then we'll cut up some cheddar. Um, let's see, let's see if I can catch up on the comments. Hi, how are you, Elizabeth McGregor? Just asking, that's all. I, I missed the first part of that, Beth, on you, on Facebook. Hey, how are you? So we are, hey, hey what's up, Carson? Uh, you should stuff them with cheese, bacon in the middle, and... Put bacon on the outside as well. Hmm, good choice. I can always do with more bacon. How about ground cashews that hooked in the blender? Hmm, that's a fault. <clears throat> All right, so let's cut this up. Now we're cutting up the cheddar. Because everything's better with cheddar, right? There we go. I think that's good for now. I'm, if I need more, I'll come back to it. So we've got that cut up. So I really want to get my actual meatballs made so that we can cook them. So I'm going to move that aside. We'll come back to it. So here we have one pound of ground beef. This is 80-20 ground beef. We're going to add to that... I like onion powder, so I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder in there. Not a lot. You can use real onions if you'd like. Um, let's see, do you have a website with all your recipes? I do have a website, it is funfoodsyt.com. And this is uh, garlic powder, because why not? Garlic powder. So a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of uh, onion powder. This is all to your, uh, to your taste. We're going to put one large egg. I am going to add a little bit of water to this. Not, not a lot. About a tablespoon of water. Not much. And now the fun part. We're going to get our hands dirty. Now, of course, you notice I did not add breadcrumbs because uh, Kato Meatballs does not have any bread at all. Um, so we're just going to crunch this up. Get my hand nice and dirty. And I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees. It should be there shortly. Might add a little bit more garlic. Uh, hello from the UK. Hello. Yes, always wash your hands after touching raw eggs and raw meat as well. So, yeah. So we're just mixing these up. It's a good idea to wash your hands all the time anyway. Right. 
So once these are mixed up pretty good, that egg is incorporated in there, all that flavoring. So now, that's pretty good. Hey, good music. That's my oven telling me it's reached temperature. Uh, hi, everyone from Oklahoma, Missouri, over on Facebook. Hello. All right. So now I'm going to keep this hand dirty since it's already dirty, right? I'm going to bring out, I just have a baking sheet here. My oven is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's my smoke alarm. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing it works. Guess we'll open the window for a vent. <laughs> All right. So smoke alarm works. That's good. Um, so now we're just going to grab some, right? And I'm going to make my meatballs rather large here. And I'm going to use two hands. We're going to roll them up. Actually, I better not make them too large or they'll take forever to cook. Roll these up. They are large. I'm making them into the whole shape of the meatball right now. We're going to add the cheese and then cover them up. So hopefully it won't be too noisy outside. I have my window open to kind of vent out. Yeah, that smoke. I had my oven on earlier today. Hi from Southern Ohio. Hello. Might have to make some. Oh, cool. And we're just forming these meatballs and then we're going to cook them in the oven. But we are going to put some cheese on there. I have some cheddar cheese. I have some mozzarella cheese. I even have some bacon. So we're going to be putting bacon, cheddar, and mozzarella cheese all inside these meatballs, but I'm just rolling them out for right now. Those meatballs are better with cheddar. Steven, what's up? <laughs> Michael. Uh, hi from Maine. Hi. Yes, Amy, good, good points. Oh, this is going to be either two smaller meatballs or one gigantic one. Yeah, we'll go gigantic. Why not? <laughs> yeah, fire alarm. All right, so now we're going to fill some of these with some either bacon and some cheddar. We'll have to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of flatten this out. We can roll it back up. I'll put a piece of cheddar on here, a piece of mozzarella, and I'm just going to break off a small piece or two, of, probably two pieces of bacon. Why not? Now we're going to roll this thing back up with the cheese inside. All right, so hopefully it'll try to stay put. The cheese will stay in there when we cook it. We'll see, though. Uh, we'll do one with just cheddar, so I'll do two things of cheddar in there. This is only cheddar in this one. Your food is uh, too hot for your kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> that must be what it is. That explains why it... Smoke detector went off or smoke, yeah. This one we're going to do just mozzarella. What other combinations? I guess we can do just mozzarella and bacon, just cheddar and bacon. So just mozzarella and some bacon. Break off a couple more pieces. I think I'm going to leave this meatball, just the meatball, without any cheese in it or anything. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so 
see how crazy can we get. Can we do like lots of bacon? Probably just somebody trying to call. We'll ignore the phone. They're just salespeople. <laughs> Make fried pickles, somebody says. Um, West Virginia girl here. Cool. Hi from Crawford County, PA. So we're going to put... <laughs> that in there sorry mama didn't mean to ignore yourself or your call phone <laughs> i thought you knew i was on here <laughs> can you please make stuffed peppers jacob says that's good i'm not a fan of stuffed peppers myself but hi from newark new jersey what are you making from Minnesota? So I am making, these are keto meatballs, which are meatballs without bread, basically. Um, we're making them and we're putting cheese inside of them, sometimes bacon inside of them. We have cheddar cheese and we have mozzarella cheese chopped up. I think I'll do just one more. So I'll have two of them without any, two of them with no cheese or bacon. And then this one, we're going to go, Load it heavily on the mozzarella and bacon, of course. All right. So, and we already preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi from Georgia. Hi. Watching from Georgia. A couple people from Georgia. That's cool. Um, so now, <laughs> yeah, always during my live streams. All right. So... All right, so that's it. We got them all covered up. Now we're going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Let me wash my hands. All right. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this so it doesn't, doesn't burn. and put these right in the oven. All right, let's pop this back up so that you can see me while those cook. Hi from Florida, how are you? Where are you from? I'm from Maryland. And so, okay, cool. I know you're watching, so I was like, why is she calling? Uh, do you cook? Do I cook bacon? Yes, I do. Um, I like to cook bacon in the microwave. Who cooks bacon in the microwave as opposed to on the oven or in the or in the oven or on the stove? Um, in the on the stove, I find that it creates just a big mess. There's somebody with a weed whacker back <laughs> there. It's crazy, but I have to have my window open or else my smoke detector detector's going off. Yes, it was cooked. Yep. The bacon was cooked. Yes. Oh, is that what you're asking? If the bacon was cooked? Yes. I pre-cooked the bacon uh, before I put it in there. If not being encased in the meatball, it just won't cook enough. And um, yeah. Hey, how are you doing, J Joseph? <clears throat> um, there can never be enough bacon. I agree with you. I do like bacon. That's the one thing I do like. I'll eat it as I talk to you. You like it a little bit chewy? I like mine nice and crispy. It's very good. Hmm. Teasing you while I'm eating bacon. So, what do you guys put on your meatballs? Do you put just garlic? Do you use actually, like I used garlic powder, but do you actually use like a garlic clove or do you just use garlic powder like I do? Um, Dover, PA. Karen, how are you? So, sitting here as we're letting our meatballs. Let me turn the oven light on. Oh, that was smart. I turned it on and then right back off. Um, I always love cooking with my oven light on because I'm nosy. 
how long do you cook meatballs for? Um, depending on the size of the meatballs, I'm going to say about 20 minutes. It really depends. Your mom never said trust the skinny chef. You're right. Never trust the skinny chef. <laughs> Hi from Alpha, New Jersey. Hello. How long cook in the microwave? Ooh, I've never tried. Oh, the bacon? So I put about four strips on at a time, and it takes about three minutes So in the microwave if you're cooking the bacon that way. Just cover them with a paper towel. Put them on paper towels. Cover them with bacon towels. I love bacon. I do, too. Uh, garlic powder and onion. See, I did garlic powder and onion powder, both powders, though. I didn't actually use the onions. I thought about using it, um, but I do like the flavor of the onion. I like onions, but they have to be nice and crispy. And after you bake them, cook them, they're not very crispy. I've not made them before. Oh, cool. <clears throat> um, yeah, I do that. Cool garlic powder. Yeah, I think a lot of people use garlic powder for their meatballs. Can't do ketchup on keto. Yeah, you're right. Garlic, onion, powder, oregano. Yep, that's true. So, yeah, you cannot use ketchup because the sugar and the ketchup, not good. Uh, hi from Saskatchewan, Canada. Cool. Uh, use dried onion flakes. <clears throat> Does that have a flavor to it? Or is it just like the texture? Garlic powder or crazy sauce. <laughs> Uh, I've never made meatballs, but I put garlic powder, salt, pepper, breadcrumbs, ketchup in my homemade hamburgers, which are almost the same. True. Very close to uh, We do our meatballs bolognese with uh, conchata and red onions, some oregano, bake them in the oven for half hour. Oh, slow cooker. Yeah. Hi from sunny California. Oh, Jana, say, hey, how are you? Yeah, I just noticed the name. <laughs> so, yeah, we're making meatballs. I have them in the oven right now. So that's the, the down part of live streams. Once they're in the oven, it's kind of like not a lot to do but me talk and read comments. But it's good I get to read the comments uh, for right now. So we're putting them in there at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. But I did make them rather large, so it might be a little longer than that. And I'll just check them to make sure they're done. Have you ever made meatloaf meatballs? Meatloaf meatballs? No, I don't think so. I've made meatloaf. I made meatballs, but not meatloaf meatballs. I put ranch dip powder on yours. Oh, that sounds good, Kim. Um, how are you? Hey, Drew, how are you? You like corn because you're corny. Haha, <laughs> funny. Uh, sorry, I missed the beginning. Yeah, no problem. Hi from Philadelphia. What are the ingredients in your meatballs? Okay, so because we're making keto meatballs, it can't we can't use like breadcrumbs or anything. So it's basically just 80-20 ground beef. Um, it's a large egg. I used garlic powder and onion powder and a little bit of water. Um, it was very basic. So we're going to see how they turn out. Hello from Oregon. Uh, talk to me about keto diet. What kind of things can you have for breakfast and what's next? Uh, keto diet is a lot like Atkins diet. Um, it's a low carb diet, but the difference is it you can have a lot. You can have some vegetables. Uh, basically, if it uh, if the vegetables grow above ground, like for instance, lettuce. Um, uh, you know, kale, which I'm not going to eat, <laughs> but yeah, kale, like lettuce, um, uh, asparagus, stuff like that. You can have, you can have butter, you can have fatty stuff. You, you know, it's not really about calories. It's about, um, you know, the certain foods you cannot have. So you can have a, a cheeseburger, but you can't have the bun. They're going to be pretty basic in my guess. Yep. Uh, they sound better than regular meatballs. Hey, and you can do this with regular. You don't have to make these like keto to have the cheese in it and the bacon. You can do this with any kind of meatball, really. You you make a regular meatball and just stick the cheese and the bacon in there and it'll make it better because everything's better with cheese and bacon. Cheese. That's cheddar. Mozzarella. 
So I'm just going to sit here and eat cheese and bacon for another 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> um, you should make kale chips. Ooh, I don't know. You make bacon in the air fryer. I've never actually tried making bacon in the air fryer, but um, here's a healthier alternative. They should better than regular meatballs. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what's your plan for the 4th of July? Can you do a playlist of foods, snacks? Because we are doing our first block party here. Oh, wow. First block party. <laughs> um, hmm. That's good. I, I have a... Let's see, I have some 4th of July stuff, but they are from a while back. I did like red, white, and blue jello. Um, can't remember what else, but I have some stuff. But we'll we'll have, we'll talk, to, uh, Sonia. So Drew says uh, cooking bacon in the air fryer is way healthier. Yep. Wrap them in bacon and brown sugar on top. Well, I can't have the brown sugar, but yeah. Wrapping them in bacon, that's one way of doing it. Um, keto meatballs sounds interesting. Yes, very interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically it's just something different. Normally I make stuff on here that's, you know, cakes and cookies and whatever. Uh, but tonight we're doing keto meatballs. Totally different, but still cooking, right? Um, another 11 minutes in there. I'm going to just take a glance at them. They're coming around. They're working. Make pork rinds. That's good. Um, air fryer is 100% air, no grease. Yep. Why can't you have brown sugar? Uh, because, uh, I'm going to try this keto diet and sugar is a no-no. <laughs> sugar is bad. Sugar's not good anyway, but especially on a keto diet, it's vodka, not water. Yeah, sure. Mm. You should make meatloaf for Halloween. It's meatloaf shaped like a foot. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I saw a couple people did that last year. The meatloaf shaped like it looks like a foot, and that was really cool. Some people did that, and they had the onions like... Like the toes and stuff like toenails uh sugar is good karate joe yeah it is good it tastes good I always miss half of the stream ah that's all good we're just getting to the fun part too when the meatballs come out of the oven a little bit they're in the oven we made them ahead of time uh well not ahead of time but they're in the oven we've made them put them in there and we're just waiting for them to cook that's the worst part about the streams the live streams uh when i have something like this that takes 20 minutes or so to cook uh there's, there's nothing to do in the meantime uh who cares what you see um so no more mountain dew desserts i don't know there's mountain dew desserts i i'll still be making the same old stuff on my channel it's just for this live stream this one live stream i'm making this i still do the crazy desserts with sugary desserts uh you'll still see those desserts i've made quite a few um them Christmas lights up behind you. These are uh, lights. They're like string lights behind me. Um, normally I have them turned on, but I my battery ran out. I'm actually charging the battery right now. It's one of these um, the string lights, and it's attached just to a battery, and it needs charged, and I didn't charge it. Uh, why are you even watching this? And oh, yeah. Guess somebody in the comment on Facebook wasn't being nice. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> James, you should be a chef and the one chef in the world. <laughs> Number one chef. That would be cool. So, hello, Shadow Snip or Snipe, Snipes, whatever that is. For making meatloaf, meatloaf with ground beef, eggs, onions, corn flakes, garlic salt, and seasoned salt. Cool. <clears throat> yep. Um, let's see. It is hot outside today. You're right. It is hot outside today. And I have my window open right now because my smoke, my smoke detector was going off when I turned my oven on. 
Um, and that's because I was baking something earlier and it really um, made a mess. So that's why you have, uh, are you going to have tomato sauce or pasta sauce or spaghetti? Uh, no, I'm just having the meatballs with cheese um, just like that. And we're going to try them once they come out. Uh, you're awesome, bro. Thanks, David. So, yeah, I'm not having – you can have them with meatball, of course, right? You can, Or you can have them with spaghetti, of course. There's nothing against that. And uh, you're surprised you haven't made the Rice Krispie Treat Cheesecake. It's Rice Krispie Treats as the crust and no-baked cheesecake. Oh, that's pretty good. I've made a lot of cheesecakes before. It's 65 here in Minnesota. Well, it's much hotter than that here. I think it's probably 80-something. It's pretty warm. I'm actually – dying right now <laughs> uh what is your favorite type of coffee i'm not a coffee drinker myself um i say iced coffee because i can eat a i can go for a frappuccino but just coffee i'm not a big fan of uh i'm glad you waste your time to show us how you make keto meatballs yeah no problem <laughs> i try uh i have to try this yep yeah. Make key lime pie cheesecake. Oh, I haven't done the key lime pie cheesecake before. Um, hmm. Meatball sub. That's good. Uh, can you make a chocolate pie with strawberries on it? Oh, I like the sound of that. Make Mountain Dew high chew candy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have to look that up. Uh, it's 65 degrees in Oklahoma. Hmm. That actually sounds not that warm. That's good. Um, yeah, it's pretty warm today. I think it. I think it got to about in the eighties, I believe. It got pretty warm. Uh, I want peach meringue pie. That does sound good. Yep. So let me check on these meatballs. Uh, it has another six minutes to go. The cheese is starting to come out a little bit on some of them, not all of them. Really looks good. <laughs> a s'mores cheesecake. Oh, I don't think I made the s'mores cheesecake, but I more, made a s'mores cake before. I like the sound of chocolate pie with strawberries, too. I know something about chocolate and strawberries just go together perfectly. Um... I know I'm starving, man. I need them. I need them meatballs. They're coming along. <clears throat> so keto potatoes and pasta are no, no. Yep, that's a no, no. But veggies and cheese, certain vegetables, yes. If it's grown above, yep. Yeah, anything fatty really is good. You can have butter, which is good. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's hope it turns out very well. I hope so, too. Ice cream cake. Oh, I've made a few ice cream cakes on uh, this before. I've done I've done a Snickers ice cream cake, which I really love. Oreo ice cream cake. Uh, that turned out really good. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you'll see pretty much the meatballs. Just to recap a little bit, the meatballs I used, I used 80-20 ground beef, and I used one large egg. Uh, some onion powder and garlic powder, a little bit of water, mixed them together, put some cheese that I cut up. This is a uh, mild cheddar cheese. This is mozzarella cheese. And I just broke up some bits of bacon to put in there too. It was great. Hmm. 88 tomorrow in Fleming Island, Florida. I'm glad I'm not, I'm glad that I'm not paper. Hmm? Make banana cream cheesecake. Mm. All these good cheesecake choices. Make cherry Coke ice cream. I have made, let's see, Mountain Dew ice cream. I think uh, orange, uh, like Fanta orange ice cream or one of those ice creams. Um, yeah, so I've made a lot of different ice creams before. 
Can you make chocolate cream pie? Always sounds good. How long do you let them cook? The So I have it in there, and we're going to check it after 20 minutes. It might need a couple minutes longer because I did make the meatballs uh, rather large. But I'm going to ch uh, check them and make sure they're cooked all the way through with my handy-dandy meat thermometer. So we will check them to make sure they're cooked through. Now, the important thing when you're uh, checking these meatballs, because we put cheese in the middle of them, you want to make sure the meat thermometer gets to the meat and not the actual cheese because it's going to throw off the uh, temperature settings, right? So it may say it's hotter than it actually is. So you want to make sure you check it with the meat, not the cheese. So be careful about how you stick them in there. And that's also another reason why I made a couple of that did not have cheese in them. So I can stick that in those and really see if it's cooked. Strength of horn. <laughs> Is diet soda okay for... No, it shouldn't be um, because it has aspartame in it, which is like an artificial flavoring. Best thing is water. <laughs> yeah, best thing is water. And I'm a, I, I drink Diet Coke all the time, but look, I got water right now. So, it, I don't think it's going to, like, kill the diet, but it won't help it. <laughs> Must be nice. You have good weather. We 65 in PA. That's not bad. I think they're calling for rain tomorrow, though. Or next day. One soon. They're calling for rain soon. <laughs> All right, so it says another minute left. So, I'm going to pull them out and just – I'll bring them here. I'm going to angle this down, and we'll check them temperature-wise. And that way you can see them, see how they look. And there we go. So it's another minute left. So that's 19 minutes in there so far. There we go. So you can see that some of them popped out. The, um, the cheese is popping out of them. The two in the middle are the two that I left – Un, uncheesed, I would say. So I'm going to stick my meat thermometer in there. We want it to get to at least 160 in the center. And it did. Got to 160, so we're good. They are cooked. Oh, wait, did that one have cheese in it? I thought I thought I left a couple without cheese. This has cheese, obviously. Let's try that one. Okay, well, that one got to 164, too. Okay, so that's good. So it's good. I'll move that aside. We'll clean that later. So it got to at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That means they are cooked thoroughly. Now, I'm going to let them rest just for a couple minutes to kind of let them, you know, just. I'm just going to let them rest here. They'll be fine. All right. And then we'll try one out. Um. Afterwards, we'll try one out. Here, let's angle this up. That way you can see me try them out. Um, is it really raining here? Oh. All right. Oh. Always trying to get my camera right. All right. It's going to rain here where you live tomorrow. I think it is, too. I, I didn't really pay attention to the weather here, but, yeah, I think it's going to rain here as well. Um. Had great weather in London, but it's going to be really cold and wet for tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's going to rain everywhere. Uh, just in time for that. Hey, yeah, Wayne shows up just in time for when they're done. Yeah, good timing, Wayne. So the ultimate question is, which one should I eat first? Should I eat one with just mozzarella, just cheddar, or both? That's what we get down to. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, big chance of meatballs. 
are they cheesy meatballs? They certainly are, Hero. So someone says I should eat one with both. So this one has both. Oh, let me angle that down a little bit. Yeah, so this one has both in it. So I think we might try that one first. I'm going to cut it in half. So I'll show you what it looks like. This also has bacon in it. I can see that. You can just see the steam coming off of that. Cheddar bacon. Mm. Please don't end it. <laughs> yeah, end it right before I get to try it. I got to let them cool down a little bit. They're a little too hot for me to try right now. I mean, they look beautiful, but too hot right now. <laughs> All right, so let's try it. Hmm. It's nice. Get the garlic, a little bit of the onion flavor. I don't get a lot of onion flavor there. And, of course, the cheese. And there's the bacon. What am I cooking next? I'm not sure. <laughs> hmm. But for now, we're going to eat some meatballs. Meatballs and cheese with bacon. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Making you hungry, huh? Cook kale chips. I might try that sometime just for fun, but I don't know if I'd like them. I'm not a fan of kale. <laughs> mm. Good meatballs. <laughs> Thank you. And like I said, we made these meatballs. All these meatballs are Cato meatballs, so they don't have bread in it. And uh, it's just basically 80 20 beef, one egg. Um, what else did I put in there? Onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of water, mixed them up, rolled them out. We put some cheese on there, cheese and bacon, of course, because everything goes better with cheese and bacon. And then we put them in the oven. It was at 420 for just under 20 minutes it was good enough um it could have stayed in there another couple of minutes it would have been fine it wouldn't hurt anything uh but yeah so depending on the size of your meatballs how long they're going to cook but roughly about 20 minutes now this is a little bit different than my normal uh live streams next week we'll be back to normal same old like sugary stuff fun stuff but i just figured we'll make this something fun something different um plus i wanted to make them and this is my dinner tonight, so not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I'm going to have for dinner. And, you know, thanks for joining me. I'm glad you all stopped in, said hello, and joined. And, of course, I'll see you next time. Uh, don't worry, I'll be back next Tuesday. <laughs> thanks, everyone, for stopping in and joining. <laughs>